Leonella Villegas, Engineering 1166, Professor Doug Cooper, University of Connecticut. My topic is the multiple antibiotic resistance phenotype in Asterichia coli. The algae paper used was regulation of intrinsic multiple antibiotic resistance in Asterichia coli and Salmonella. I will be discussing Asterichia coli, what antibiotic resistance is, efflux systems, more on the efflux pump itself and how it works, multiple antibiotic resistance, and how the MAR phenotype works. And lastly, ways to control MAR expression. E. coli, short for Escherichia coli, is one of the most studied living organisms. It is also a bacterium, more specifically a gamma proteobacteria, which means that they are gram-negative and are scientifically important due to the fact that they have the ability to be pathogenic. It is also one of the most common enterics due to their rod-shaped facultative anaerobic metabolism and location in the intestines of animals. Studies have shown E. coli to be an ideal indicator organism because it is easily detected, easily cultured due to its assembly of unlimited quantities of the product of an introduced gene, and it can grow in presence or absence of oxygen. Antibiotic resistance. The only concern about E. coli is their ability to resist antibiotics. Antibiotics are substances or compounds that inhibits the growth of or destroys a microorganism. E. coli has found a way to intrinsically build a resistance towards many of the regular drugs. Four of the typical main mechanisms by which microorganisms show resistance is drug inactivation or modification, alteration of target site, alteration of metabolic pathways, and reduced drug accumulation. E. coli, however, goes about it in a different way because it has the ability to occupy multiple niches including human and animal hosts. It can also exchange genetic material with other pathogens including a pathogenic E. coli. E. coli's resistance is mediated by the activation of chromosomally encoded efflux systems, cytoplasmic reducing enzymes, and metabolic enzymes. Now a little more on efflux systems. Genetic elements, efflux pumps, are encoded on chromosomes and contribute to natural resistance because the pump genes can survive hostile environments, which allows for the selection of mutants that express these genes. It is a universal mechanism for a cell to maintain homeostasis. Efflux pumps that excrete noxious substrates contribute to this process. The multidrug transporters, which pump out a variety of structurally unrelated compounds, are classified into several families. The five families are categorized by their amino acid sequences. ACRD system pumps out bile acids and fatty acids to lower their toxicity by using a proton motive force. The system acquired the genes for these pumps through lateral gene transfer and reproduction. Hydrogen and ATP are used to drive the proton motive force. It's been shown that the expression of genes that code for efflux pumps are changed in response to environmental conditions. This allows the bacterium protection. The ACRAB, C has been reported to modulate the post-antibiotic effect and the killing activity of antibiotics. There are two important regulatory systems, MAR-RAB and SOXRS, as well as two regulated multidrug efflux systems, coded by EMRAB and ACRAB. These all have to do with environmental st stimuli. The efflux pumps has also shown advantages in the clinical setting by demonstrating that efflux inhibitors may be used to improve the efficacy of these antibiotics affected like oxacillin, norfloxacin, rifampicin, and etc. MAR, which is multiple antibiotic resistance, is a phenotype. It needs to involve activation or regulatory MAR locus on the E. coli bacterium DNA. MAR causes a resistance by altering the expression of multiple genes located on the E. coli chromosome. It has two transcriptional units, MARC and MARRAB, which is under the control of two promoters, PMAR1 and PMAR2. There is an operator promoter region called MARO and can either go towards the MARC region, creating a protein of unknown function, or MARRAB, which consists of a repressor that binds on MARO and negatively regulates expression of MARRAB and an activator which controls expression of other genes on the chromosome and a small protein called MARB. Expression of the MARB operon is induced by tetracycline coramphenicol, sodium salicylate, and other compounds. There is no way to bond to it. Under non-inducing conditions, MARR binds to sites 1 and 2 within the MARO and prevents transcription of MARRAB operon. 
The mar locus is reported to mediate resistance primarily by upregulating efflux of some antibiotics via the ACRAB toll C efflux pump and downregulating influx through outer membrane pump TMAT. This is an overview of the MAR RAB process. From the operator, it can either go towards the MARC and or MAR RAB. MARC just creates a protein that has not been researched so far, but when MARR is inhibited from binding to the operator MARO, transcriptional activator MARA is transcribed. MARA, when transcribed, regulates runs 47 genes, including ACRA and TOL-C, which both are components of the ACRAB efflux pump. MARA also downregulates 15 genes, including OMPF, an outer protein through which hydrophilic substances enter the cell. And once the transcriptional activator, MARA, is transcribed, it upregulates its own production. Ways to control MAR expression. It is possible to use a rational drug design and or create a new antibiotic that interferes with the functioning of MIRA, the activator, its homologs, or the genetic loci, for example, ACRAB. This causes for less MIRA and little to none of an influx pump. However, this more expression may be caused by other loci on the chromosomes, which further research will prove or disapprove. In conclusion, Escherichia coli has an intrinsic multiple antibiotic resistance. This phenotype is what causes the resistance by altering gene expression. Efflux pumps due to the ACRA and TOLC genes play a huge role by using a proton motor force to remove these antibiotics. There are also possible ways to control MAR expression that are being looked into now due to the knowledge of the pumps and the function of MAR-RAB. However, there are many other loci that can also contribute to the MAR phenotype. Hopefully someday an antibiotic will exist.